in this video, we will try to understand how to design a polynomial can. Now here, we have to derive the equation for s rise and s fall in case of 3, 4, 5 polynomial can. Well, h is the total height in this particular expression. s is the displacement of the follower and theta upon beta is known as a normalized angle. Now, this is the equation which we want to prove for the motion, rise motion, that is the outward stroke and during the fall of follower, that is return stroke. Now, let us try to understand for the first case, that is the for rise motion of the follower and camp system. Now, let us try to understand for the boundary conditions for rise motion. The boundary conditions are when eta is equal to 0, displacement is 0, velocity is 0 and acceleration is also 0 as indicated over here. And at the end of the stroke, rise stroke, theta is equal to some angle say beta, then displacement of the follower is h which is the total height, so s is equal to h. Now at this particular position, the velocity will be 0 and acceleration is also 0. So the follower has reached to its maximum height, we can say. Now let us consider the equation. So s is equal to c0 plus c1x plus c2x square plus c3x cube plus c4x raised to 4 plus c5x raised to 5. Now we can assume the x as the independent variable is equal to theta upon beta or time t. So here we have assumed that independent variable x as theta upon beta. So let us substitute that value over here. So in case of x, we can substitute theta upon beta. So this is x squared, so it is theta upon beta squared. This is x cubed, so it is theta upon beta cubed. This is x raised to 4, so theta upon beta raised to 4, and so on. Now differentiating with respect to theta. Now this c0, c1, c2, c3, c4 and c5, these are the constants. So derivative of constant is 0, this c1 as it is. Derivative of theta with respect to theta is 1, so it is 1 upon beta. This c2 as it is. Derivative of this particular term, we have to use the formula of x raised to n, that is n, x raised to n minus 1. And again by chain rule, the derivative of theta upon beta is nothing but 1, it is 1 upon beta, because derivative of theta is 1. Similarly, theta upon beta cube, that is nothing but 3 theta upon beta raised to 3 minus 1. And again, derivative of theta upon beta, that is 1 upon beta. And similarly, for the other expression, so it is C4, then theta upon beta raised to 4 will have derivative as 4 theta upon beta raised to 4 minus 1 and into 1 upon beta. Similarly, theta upon beta raised to 5 will have derivative as 5 into theta upon beta raised to 5 minus 1 into 1 upon beta. So we can say that this is nothing but we can take this 1 upon beta as a common term throughout. So this is common. So we have taken this term as common. Now we are getting the expression as c1 plus 2c2 theta upon beta, 3c3 theta upon beta squared plus 4c4 theta upon beta cube plus 5c5 theta upon beta raised to 4. So then this 1 upon beta is a constant, so derivative of this particular term. Derivative of constant c1 is 0. Derivative of theta upon beta is 1 upon beta because derivative of theta with respect to theta is 1. Similarly, derivative of theta upon beta squared is nothing but 2 theta upon beta raised to 2 minus 1 into 1 upon beta. All these things we have already seen. So we can say that again we can take the term this 1 upon beta as common throughout as you can see over here. So already we are having 1 upon beta term. So this is 1 upon beta square. And now we are left with 2c2 plus 3c3, 4c4, that is 4 into 3, that is 12c4, and 5 into 4, that is 20c5. And that is our equation for acceleration in case of the rise of the follower. Now, up till now, we have derived the expression for displacement, velocity, and acceleration. And these equations are equation number 1, 2, and 3. 
Now we use the boundary conditions to find out these various constants that is C0, C1, C2, C3, C4 and C5. We are having six constants and we are having six boundary conditions. So let us use one by one the boundary conditions over here. Theta is equal to zero, S is equal to zero. Substitute that equation, that boundary condition in equation one. So in place of theta, we have substituted zero. And in place of S also, we have substituted zero. So you can see over here, in place of S, it is zero. Similarly, in place of theta also, it is zero. So at all the places, theta is zero. So these terms will be cancelling out. So we can we will get the value of C0 as 0. Now let us use the another boundary condition that is theta is equal to 0. We are having velocity v is also equal to 0. So in place of v we have substituted 0 and in place of theta also we have substituted 0. In this second equation it is this particular equation. And therefore here also all these terms they will get cancelled out. So we are having 1 upon beta into C1 that is equal to 0. So in place of velocity we will substitute 0 over here. So 1 upon beta into C1 is equal to 0. Therefore we are having C1 is equal to 0. Now let us use another boundary condition that is the next boundary condition. So using the boundary condition that is at theta is equal to 0, acceleration is 0. So you can substitute in place of a 0 and in place of theta also 0. So in place of a if you substitute 0 over here, then we are having we are left with only these terms, these terms are getting cancelled out. These are zeros. So 2c2 into 1 upon beta square is equal to 0, which indicates that c2 is equal to 0. The another boundary condition that is when theta is equal to beta, s is equal to h, we can substitute that value over here. So in place of s it is h and in place of theta it is beta. So we are having the equation. So this is zero, this is zero into something that is zero. Because we know that c0 is zero, this c1 is also zero, this c2 is also zero. In place of theta, we are substituting beta. Here also in place of theta, we are substituting beta. And here also in place of theta, the substitution is beta. So beta upon beta, that is 1. So these terms will be only the first three terms they are 0 because C0, C1, C2, they are all 0. So C3 plus C4 plus C5, that is equal to H. Using the next boundary condition, that is at theta is equal to beta, velocity is 0. So Substituted by the equation 2. So in equation 2, we have substituted this v is equal to 0. As you can see, c1 is 0, then c2 is also 0. So those values also we have substituted. So this c1 is 0 and c2 is 0. So first two terms we are getting cancelled out. So we are left with 3 c3, 4 c4, and 5 c5 because this beta upon beta is also. So we can say that 0 is equal to 3 c3 plus 4 c4 plus 5 c5. Similarly, we can use the next boundary condition that is at theta is equal to 0, acceleration is 0, and substitute that in equation 3. So, in place of acceleration, it is 0, in place of theta, it is beta, and c2 is 0. So, we are getting the equation 6c3 plus 12c4 plus 20c5 is equal to 0. So, we have to solve these three equations simultaneously, which we have obtained as equation 4, 5 and 6. Let us call this as equation 1, 2 and 3. And we have to solve them simultaneously. Now to solve this equation simultaneously, we will multiply equation 1 by 3 and subtract it from the equation 2. So we are getting this equation is subtracted from the so equation 1 we have multiplied by 3 and it is subtracted from equation 2. So this plus will become minus, this plus will become minus, and this is minus. So we can say that this 3c3, 3c3 will get cancelled out. As you can see over here, 4 minus 3 that is c4, then 5 minus 3 that is 2c4, and 0 minus 3h that is minus 3. 
Similarly, we can multiply equation 1 by 6 and subtract it from equation 3 so that we can eliminate C3 again over here. So we are getting this another equation. Now multiply this equation 4 by 6 because we have to eliminate now C4 and subtract it from this particular equation that is equation 5. And hence here also we will get this term will get cancelled. 14 minus 12 that is 2C5 minus 6 plus 18 that is 12. So we can say that the value of C5 over here is 6H. Now this value we can substitute in equation 4. So equation from equation 4, C4 is nothing but minus 3H minus 2C5. So substitute the value of C5 that is 6H. So it is minus 15H. This is minus 3H and minus 12H that is minus 15H. Substitute this value in equation 3. So you can see over here. We can say that this is equation 1, not 3 equation. So it is H minus C4 minus C5. So therefore, substitute the of C4, C4 is nothing but minus 15 H, which we have already obtained, and C5 is 6 H. So we get C3 is equal to 10 H. So in this way, we have obtained the values of C0, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, and CH. And now we can substitute those values over here. So in place of C0, it is 0, C1 is 0, C2 is also 0. Then value of C3 is 10H, value of C4 is minus 15H, and value of C5 is 6H. Now take H common from this. So you can take this H common over here. And then you will get the answer, the required answer that is S rise is equal to H into bracket 10 multiplied by theta upon beta 2 minus 15 into theta upon beta raised to 4 plus 6 into theta upon beta raised to 5. That is our first answer. Now for fall again, you can use the boundary condition. So now in this particular case, the faller is always the faller is already in the raised position. So it has already at position H. So when theta is equal to 0 in this particular case. Displacement is already equal to h, velocity is 0, and acceleration is also 0. And when the theta is equal to beta, then at that time the displacement becomes 0 of the follower, and velocity and acceleration they are also 0. So we have already derived the expression for displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Just we have to use the boundary conditions as we have already said. So when theta is equal to 0, s is equal to h. So in this case, in place of, and we have substituted this in equation 1. So in equation 1, theta is equal to 0, then s is equal to h. So all these terms, they will get cancelled out. So we are having c0 is equal to h. Using the next boundary condition, that is, theta is equal to 0, velocity is 0. So in place of velocity also, if you, you can substitute 0. And in place of theta also you can substitute zero. So these terms they are getting cancelled out over here. So we are having zero is equal to c1 into one upon beta, or you can say that c1 is zero in this case. Now using the next boundary condition, when theta is equal to zero, acceleration is zero. So again, in place of acceleration also we can substitute zero. So this is our third equation that we are using, and theta is also zero. So that we have already substituted. So we can say that 1 upon beta square into 2 C2 is equal to 0. So we can say that C2 is 0 in this. The another boundary condition that is that theta is equal to beta, S is equal to 0, and that we can substitute in equation 1. So that we can transfer this H on the other side so it will become minus H. Then this C3, C4, and C5. So C3 plus C4 plus C5 because all the other terms, these two terms they are 0. So C1 is 0 and C2 is also 0. So we are using this equation 1 over here. And beta upon beta is 1. So we are getting this another equation over here. Now when theta is equal to beta, another boundary condition is velocity is equal to 0. So we can substitute V is equal to 0 and theta is equal to beta over here. 
but values of C1 and C2 they are 0. So first two terms they will get cancelled. So 3C3 plus 4C4 plus 5C5 is equal to 0 because this beta upon beta is 1. So that is our another equation. Similarly, we can use the last boundary condition that is at theta is equal to 0, acceleration is 0 and we can substitute that in equation 3 that is this particular equation. So C2 is 0 then in place of theta it is beta, in place of acceleration it is 0. So we are getting the another equation that is 6C3 plus 12C4 plus 20C5 that is equal to 0. So let us consider these equations over here. So the equations which we have obtained for the fall motion or return stroke of the follower are this particular equation. And this also we can solve simultaneously in the same fashion as we have done for the rise motion. So again multiply equation 1 by 3 and subtract from equation 2 will be this particular term. So 3C3 minus 3C3 so that will get cancelled out. Then 4C4 minus 3C4 that is C4, 5 minus 3 that is 2C5 and 0 plus 3H that is 3H. So that is our fourth equation. Similarly, multiply equation 1 by 6 and subtract it from equation 3. So we are eliminating C3 over here. We will get another equation over here. That is 6C4 that is, is 6C3 minus 6C3 that will get cancelled. 12 minus 6 that is 6C4. 20 minus 6 that is 14 and 0 plus 6 that is 6 h. Similarly, we can multiply this equation 4 by 6 and subtract it from this equation so that we can eliminate C4 and we are getting this equation. So the value of C5 that we are getting over here is minus 6 h. We can substitute this value in equation 4. So in place of C5 we can substitute minus 6 h. So this 3h and this minus minus will become plus. So this 12h that is 15h. Again, we can substitute this in equation one, not the third equation. This is equation one that we are using again. So this minus h minus c4 minus c5. Substitute the value of c4 that is 15h. C5 is minus 6h. So this minus minus will become plus and this is minus h minus 15 h that is minus 16 h. So minus 16 plus 6 h that is minus 10 h. So in this way we can substitute these values of c0, c1, c2, c3, c4 and c5 in this equation. And in place of c0 it is h, in place of c1 it is 0, in place of c2 it is 0. c3 is minus 10 h, c4 is 15 h and c5 is minus 6 h. Now take minus sign from, from this term. So here we have taken this from this term. Minus h we have taken from. So it is h minus h into bracket 10 theta upon beta u minus 15 theta upon beta raised to 4 plus 6 theta upon beta raised to 5. But this is nothing but the equation for s rise. So we can say that s fall is equal to h minus s rise. So that is the second thing that we have to do. Now we just extend this so that we can find out the velocity, acceleration and the polynomials for the fall segment only. So for fall we are having S fall is equal to this equation. Differentiating with respect to theta as we have already seen. So the derivative of theta upon beta q is 3, theta upon beta raised to 3 minus 1 using the formula of x raised to n that is n x raised to n minus 1 and again the Chain rule by chain rule theta upon beta to derivative is 1 upon beta. And we are getting all these particular terms. So velocity is this particular value. Again, differentiate this velocity also with respect to beta. And we will get the expression for acceleration. And again, if we differentiate this with respect to theta similarly, then we will get the expression for the beta. So in this way, we can derive the expression for velocity, acceleration, and gel polynomial also for the fall segment.